offended by this podcast right now. Someone's offended by me talking about systemic racism or Black and, Lives Matter. And I mean, they're letting is, you know in the comments below. Or, or making fun of Trump. <laughs> I, every time I make fun of Trump. Or making fun of Flat Earth. Yeah. Oh, there was another one. That that whole thing emerged. Oh, that happened this year. Yeah. In, I think so, right? I think, I, think, I think it was. I think it was January, beginning of the year, when the Flat Earth sort of uh, revival reached a crescendo and B.O.B., the rapper, rapped about Flat Earth in a, in a song. Early and, this year. And he created a stir on Twitter. And then finally, Neil deGrasse Tyson had to go on The Daily Show and you know, drop the mic and prove <laughs> gravity existed. <laughs> so silly, all of it. So we did say earlier that we were going to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I like to address the flat earth because in the alternative-minded community, the truth movement, the alt-right, mm -hmm. if you will, whatever, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's obviously a topic and it's been a topic for a long time. And for us, uh, well, Eric Dubay, who in my opinion anyway he's the one who really kind of brought it back his yeah. his his documentary and his book about the flat earth and he's still I sort of like one of the leaders of this most people this, would agree with that. this idea mm -hmm. and this theory eric dubay has been a, a supporter of ours since we started yeah. in 2012 and he he posts video our videos on his website atlantean conspiracy and we've had a really nice rapport with him uh since the beginning and he kind of laid low for a bit and i thought he was laying low but in in actuality he was preparing for this flat earth you know um exposure mm -hmm. and he actually sent his book and his documentary to us before he released them and this is in i want to say december of 2014 or january of 2015 okay and I first saw it and I said flat earth and I was like, oh, come on, no way. Mm -hmm. This is way before this was a meme, by the way. This right. is way before, which is only about two years ago, almost two years. And I remember when I first looked into it, I was like, oh, wow, these mm -hmm. are some really good points. <laughs> these are some really good points. Um, interesting. And I went down that rabbit hole. And I mean, from being honest, like there's a lot of really excellent points brought up by the flat earth theory but similar to how we observed the reaction to the dakota pipeline um watching the way that it all started unfolding mm -hmm. and how it started growing how the snowball became an avalanche and seeing the division that was being created and seeing oh, yeah. the diversion the flat earth was taking away from anything else right. truth related quote unquote truth related as the observer, as the detective watching and going, huh, this is interesting. It, you know, w what's going on here? Why, why is this happening? Why now? Why is this happening now? And look at the division it's creating. It's, it's like, it's almost like Democrat versus Republican. It's flat earth versus ballers. And when something like that happens that divides the community, I have to question it. No matter how uh, interesting right. so many of those points are. So in conclusion, what I'm saying is I'm totally open to the idea of the world being flat. I'm totally open to it. In fact, it makes more sense to me now than anything that NASA has taught us. In fact, that was an aspect of it that was really compelling to me that their actual proof that the world was a globe didn't, didn't, we didn't get until the 20th century with the moon landings, with NASA. Yep. I'm like, well, there's a red flag right there. So there's so many red flags. I don't believe a word that comes out of NASA's mouth until proven otherwise. Um, and I really enjoy the flat earth theory. It's very romantic. It's very, you know, it's uh, earth centered. It's uh, saying that it's not random. It's all for a purpose. It's all here for us. I love that stuff, man. That really resonates with me. And it was the accepted theory about the world for thousands, if not tens of thousands of years. I like it, but I can't prove it. I know that some people out there listening, but, well, you can prove it. No, yeah, you can. I'm sure you can. I can't. No, I can't. I'm going to tell you how. I can't get in a rocket and shoot up in the air and look down on the earth. I can't do that. I can't personally prove it. Um, I don't think it's what we've been told by NASA, but I don't know if it's definitely flat because I can't prove it. And there is definitely something peculiar about the way it came about and the way it divided the community yeah it's my definitely. final thought on it for now anyway and uh just to that i'll say that i've for a lot of the arguments that the flat earthers make i've seen a lot of good responses to those i've seen a lot of good information 
um, on both sides. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was interesting to me too. I definitely watched and learned about things. I think Mar- that Mar- Marty Leeds is a great video about it. Marty Leeds has a great video. The ultimate great... litmus test. Yes. I mean, and what I liked about his approach is he said he set out to debunk it. He was yeah. one of the ones who was like, you know what, this is this is ridiculous. I'm going to prove this wrong, and he went on to disprove it. And he's a really smart guy. If you follow Mar- Marty Leeds' work, he's really smart. And he went on to debunk it, and he came up short, and he said, "Wow, no, I'm this is legitimate." And he made a movie called, like I said, "The Ultimate Litmus Test." Watch it, see how you feel. Um, I'm I'm so neutral about it. I don't feel that's the thing. I don't feel any emotion. I don't feel passion either way. I'm totally open to it being flat, to being round, to being concave, to being hollow, whatever. It's definitely not what we've been taught, but to the extent of which it really is, I don't know yet. So that's how I feel. We're not ballers, we're not globe heads, and we're also not flat earthers. We are literally in the middle observing how it's all unfolding. And no, we don't have to take a side and make a belief. Exactly. No, for anyone out there thinking that, no. Uh, our beliefs, my beliefs, I'll speak to my beliefs, my beliefs change all the time. And I don't have enough information, but frankly, where my perspective on the whole thing is, is just like we said in our Conspiracy Guy Flat Earth video, you know, here we shouldn't be arguing about the shape of the earth we should be talking about what's happening here on the earth and that will come later we can figure that out later i know people out there that are in the flat earth they say this is the end all be all that when people see this it pulls the curtain back and on I get everything it. I, I totally get and that, I get point that of view. too i really do get that point of view however until there is absolute proof either way we're on this earth right now and we have to sort out the things that are in front of us right now to sort out. And then I think all the other questions will be answered in time. But let's face, let's let's look at what is facing us ahead. Yeah, let, let's say. stop dropping bombs on other countries. Let's stop dealing with, let's stop letting them get away with false flag terror and, and, and you know, a, a, a corrupt financial system and debt and debt slavery and all this other shit that we that we're stuck with and the fucking chemicals in the air and the water and all the bullshit, all the ways that they have us by the balls. And then let's figure out what the shape of the earth is. And those who believe in the flat earth are so adamant about it. They're going to hear this and be so disappointed and probably angry at us. So (laughs) for the last time I'll emphasize to those people, I'm open to the idea. I'm just not going to devote my time and energy to trying to prove that it is flat. Okay, how about, how about just a couple other ones?